Good morning, morning Armio. Armio. I'm Khalil. And I'm Lana. And, and this, this is your morning broadcast. Last week on Friday, there was a senior sunrise. Seniors, we hope you guys had a great time during the senior sunrise. From Monday to Thursday, there will be a new teacher welcome week. To add on, Tuesday through Wednesday will be the freshman speeches. Then on Thursday to Friday will be the elections. We wish all the freshman candidates the best of luck. Tomorrow there will be three sporting events. The volleyball team have a game against Fairfield High School at Fairfield. JV starts at 5 o'clock and varsity starts at 6 o'clock. Next will be the women's golf team. The golf team will be versing Fairfield High School at 2.30 p.m. The golf team will be departed at 1 p.m. and will be traveling to Rancho Solano. Lastly, the women's tennis team will be versing Wood Seawood High School. They will be departed at 2.15 p.m. The game starts at 3.45 p.m. located at Wood. We wish for all the sporting teams that have a game tomorrow the best of luck. Cross country, don't forget you guys have a goodbye week on Wednesday. On Friday, there will be an AHS color run. For those who don't know what a color run is, it's an obstacle course that throws colors at you. For those who are interested, it will cost $15 at the treasurer's office, and you'll go to AG5 to pick up your shirt. If you plan on going, you will meet at the library at 3.45 p.m. this Friday. As to the football team, there will be no game this Friday due to their bye week. Now we have a vignette introducing the new math teacher here at Armio, Mr. Alves. Let's, Let's have a look. I am Mr. Alves. I am a new teacher here at Armia. That's my first year teaching. I initially was planning on moving to this area because um, I had a buddy that I was moving in with and I met the administration and got shown around the campus here and I loved it so I ended up at Armia. I really like all the kids. I haven't had any issues with anyone. It's been fun so far and excited for what else the year has in store. I was always pretty good at math so I just kind of excelled in math and decided to pursue that and then ended up getting into the teaching part of it and really loved that. Right now I am teaching Math 1, which is the mostly freshman math class, and then I am teaching Business Math, that is for seniors. So it was actually really interesting for me because I student taught all last year and I had mostly sophomores and juniors, so I was kind of getting those two different ends of the spectrum. So it's a new, kind of a new opportunity for me to get a new group of students and different age. So it's, I don't, didn't know a lot of what to expect initially, and yeah, finding that out as I go. I just want to be able to completely serve my students. I want my classroom to be a safe place for them, because I, I think you can't learn otherwise, and ultimately just have a good time and be not so afraid of math. Yeah, I'd definitely like to stay here for a long time. It seems like a good fit. I really like the students so far. I really like all the other staff in the math department. I haven't met many of the other teachers. But of the teachers I've met, it seems, and the administration's really good, so it seems like a good place to be. Advice for anyone who's doing math. Um, don't skip over the little details. With math, it all kind of builds on itself. It's, and don't be afraid to ask questions about the little details. You're usually not the only one that's confused on something, and once you miss those little details, it really hurts you in the long run, trying to work on more complex math where you need to use those little things. And, and that's, that's all for today, today Armio. I'm Khalil. And I'm Lana. And this, this has been, been your multimedia, multimedia production, production broadcast. broadcast.